guys, I'm back for another stream, and welcome to Hypixel Skyblock. And I've returned after 10 freaking days. Why was it? Why has it been so long? Um, I don't really know if I have a good excuse other than the fact that I didn't put YouTube first, which was a mistake. I found that there was a bunch of things that I wanted to get out of the way from my schedule, but I didn't really want to do it. So what happens when I do that? I don't do the things that I put in front. And because I said that I have to do that before I do YouTube, I didn't do YouTube either. So I just kind of did nothing and was annoyed and not productive. So I flipped the script and I started putting YouTube first and sure enough, I'm getting things done. Ironically, including the things that I've been putting off. So, and hopefully, there should not be any um, autofocus issues because I'm wearing the gray shirt. The autofocus loves the gray shirt. So there you go. Oh, I also coded a thing. We'll show that off in a minute, but let's get into game. Hello. Oh, so some funny stuff that happened. I made a video, uploaded it last night, and it was about how to progress in Hypixel Skyblock. I think it was a really good tutorial. It basically teaches you from the start to go from absolutely nothing to 14 million coins buying the best armor set in the game right off the bat getting to combat 24 within like an hour or two it was a good tutorial but along the way i recommended some stuff and i forgot that i'm a person with influence and 50,000 people saw the video in like 12 hours so <laughs> the price of beating heart 7x <laughs> because of my video they were like 30,000 coins at pop and now they're 224,000 so whoops I'm hoping finally after like a year and a half tonight I can record the updated talisman guide I'm hoping that's what ends up happening I'm not gonna promise that it comes out tomorrow it might but that also depends on how much pain Fezzi's willing to go through to string together like 170 plus talismans and upgrades ranked and whatnot. So that comes to my other topic. I coded a thing, chat. You want to see something neat? Welcome to Pie Charm. So remember that controversial part of my channel's history when I made the minion calculator? I was dumb back then, and despite knowing Python, I decided to make a script like application in java which just overcomplicated everything this time around i did the smart thing and just made it in python so what this is is an application that ranks every talisman and upgrade in hypixel skyblock by how many coins it costs to get an additional magical power using the new reforge system it'll tell you exactly which talisman to get and in what order and then it will tell you so with 50,000 coins apparently you can get uh, there's a couple blank ones in here we ignore that you can get like 33 talismans and upgrades for a total of uh 49,663 coins and gain 121 magical power absolutely freaking ridiculous but anyways i made this application to assist me when writing the script for the updated talisman guide so i'm gonna be doing that later anyways uh, the title of the stream says I found a source for more strength. I don't know what the video title is going to be, but indeed I did find a new source of strength. When I was doing the research for my talisman guide, I discovered there's such a thing as a pulse ring. Now, I knew about the talisman, I just wasn't aware. You can't auction them apparently. Why can't you? I don't know why you can't put them on bin or maybe just no one is putting them on bin. That being said, I would like to purchase a pulse ring from somebody in chat. Uh, whatever the going rate is in the market, it appears that um, that one was five mil, but that was like an hour before it was going to end. So eight mil. That's probably a premium. I don't care. Do, the, do you like the eight mil price? Is that good chat? An extra three mil doesn't make a difference to me. Thank you. Thank you. Pulse ring. Very good. Uh, okay. I, that was a massive premium. That's fine. Now what I need is... So basically, the way Pulse Ring works, first of all, it's crafted with a bunch of orbs of energy. I believe it's 512 of them or 256, I don't remember. Anyways, you craft them together, you get a Pulse Ring. I'm not going to do that much fishing right now. So there you go. You can charge, I believe, with um, Thunder in a Bottle. Thunder in a... So, Thunder in a Bottle is an item that 
Might as well grab a couple of these right now while I'm talking about it. Three of them will actually upgrade the rarity for me. Uh, you had to go to an anvil, so we're about to show that off. So now the charge is 50,000, 100,000, 150,000. And there you go. Now it is a uh, rare accessory instead of uncommon. But the cool thing about the pulse ring uh, and those bottles of thunder or whatever, you can craft an empty bottle and in order to charge it to 50,000, you need to get struck by lightning. And uh, according to Guild, you have to get struck by the boss called Thunder when you're lava fishing. And it takes a long freaking time, apparently, to charge these bottles up. So anyways, this is the most expensive talisman in the game currently, because in order to upgrade it, I believe the fourth time, you need a hundred of those Thunder in a bottles, which is 500 million coin. So we're not doing that much. I feel like there should be more places in the game where you can get struck by lightning and charge the, the bottles, but whatever. So I do intend on getting the next upgrade, which is, wait, what is that? 1 million charge. So I would need, chat's right, it's 17 more. Damn. We're not going to be able to do that today unless enough people can come out of the woodworks with 17 thunder and bottles uh doesn't look like it is that a 30 virus hacked bad line cloak very very good it is not as good as the firewall bad line cloak though actually they are both quite good that being said if i'm going to be showing off firewall i should be wearing crimson armor because it matches look at that there we go that's how you do it it's available in the bad line store for a limited time at once the summer's done it's gone Use code 30 virus, link in the pinned comment description. Anyways, 10 mil. <laughs> wow. I ruined the entire market for these. Okay. Um, let's add, let's add these to the pulse ring, shall we? And what's crazy too is each one of these takes over an hour to charge. Over on well, more than an hour, I think. It's a it's a long time. I've heard from various people that it's like roughly a a million coins an hour if you were to use it as a money making method so it might each of these might literally be five hours of getting struck by lightning by thunder okay so we need four more <laughs> see here's the thing chat i bought this when it was the best in the game but now now there's the bingo artifact instead of just the bingo ring so you know what i gotta do you know what I gotta do? I'm buying a bingo artifact because you know I am not going to freaking do that. I am never going to get enough bingo points to get one of these myself. So I'm actually gonna sell the um, the ring as a regular auction and it's going for five minutes. Let's go chat. We're doing the risky right now. We're doing the risky. We have to hope that somebody bids market price on that in the next five minutes bingo artifact now oh that looks look how short the description is it's literally just bingo so it's like such a small little description oh there it is there it is well that's good we're officially maxed out with bingo stuff we we never have to touch bingo profiles ever again unless i want to use my current bingo points to spend on a talisman to sell we'll see i don't know but anyways uh i'm gonna check back on the ah for more bottles of thunder I'll, i said no more than eight mil there we go done very good now oh pulse ring with a million charge and now i can enrich it because now it's technically a uh legendary talisman so we're gonna get a strength enrichment right now if i can find it so we just gained 16 magical power and a strength enrichment very good we are going to need to upgrade our sorrow chest plate the gemstones in it are garbage uh we're also going to need to get at least growth six prot six Ragnarok acts for the demon split phase. I've heard of that before. Are you trying to steal my soul? Oh, by the way, we've had this gold minion down for so long that he used up all of the catalysts. So how much?
much collection do we get from that? 500,000. Wow, that was freaking worth Let's try... I want to try a new Blaze Slayer. Not a new Blaze Slayer. I want to try a Blaze Slayer with the new stuff. Now, technically, the other thing I could do now that I think about it would be upgrading these two pieces of Crimson. If I get this hot Crimson boot upgraded one more time to um, Burning, then it will be slightly better than Necron. Problem is, I need to do Kudra fights for that. What is this? Gain a 3% chance for attributes to spawn one level higher. It's a talisman and it's made from fiery Kudra cores, also talisman. Ooh, is this coming in an update or is it here now? And I'm just dumb. How do you get this? You can't see the recipe. Invalid recipe. Ooh. So it's not out yet, but there's another freaking talisman. You know, I should probably put that somewhere in my notes for the talisman guide. So here's the scary thing, chat. I'm going to be trying sorrow chest plate again instead of mithril coat, which means I no longer have that barrier of protection from getting one tapped so i'm gonna have to actually use the wither cloak sword oh god here we go probably about to try tier three why are you taking so long to kill oh geez here we freaking oh i gotta remember how to do this hello all right so now my gear should be quite a bit better so far so good the demons are spawning now hello uh, like lagging lagging okay killed it okay we're getting a fire pillar spawn I'm alive. Not bad, not bad. Second phase of the demons. And they should die now. Goodbye. Okay, that's the wrong thing. Fire pillar spawning. Three, two, one. Survived. I think I got it. I, I did do it. To be fair, I did it tier three. What do you think, chat? Yeah, that was a bit of a struggle. A little bit. My health did not drop nearly as fast. Uh, the problem is I don't like the fact that the fire pillars are a thing, but just the sheer amount of damage that I'm not taking anymore. I don't know. It seemed not too awful. It's just a long fight. How do you get one cycle demon fights? That's what we need. That's what I need in my life is skipping that second phase of the demons. I got to look into this freaking Ragnarok axe strategy because everyone's been telling me about it, but I just don't get it. Like, I've read the description, and it doesn't make sense to me. It never has. Like, I don't get it. What makes the Ragnarok act so... Oh, the price! <laughs> oh, yeah, that was another thing I talked about in the video. <laughs> That's actually really funny. I talked about it when it was 100k in the the progression guide, and now it's 550k. But I still don't get it. Why? What, what, what makes it so freaking good? Right-click, begin a channel. After not taking damage for three seconds, gain two times this weapon strength for three seconds. You can get like a thousand strength with it. Whoa. You you can use Wither Cloak, then use the sword's ability. That's what I do. So is this the secret? Is this the reason why everybody's been like, GG easy, get good, bro. You're so bad at Blaze Slayer. Is it because they're all doing this? I didn't consider the idea that you could max this thing out and then double that strength. That is significant. So do I just max it out like any other weapon or is there specific things that you normally wouldn't put? Like, is there a reforge that gives more strength for whatever reason than I doubt it than ancient? Really?